In this episode, we are talking about my weight loss journey and how it has affected my life. I'm Maisha, life strategist for women who want it all, author, speaker, and your new best friend. We are talking about the food. I have had a relationship with food my entire life, and I was a sweet eater. That means candies, cakes, cookies, ice cream. I would buy chocolate bars and hide them in my drawers at home. I ate candy instead of eating food. I inherited this from my mother, who was also a sweet eater, and it was a part of life. I mean, I've had 14 root canals. I've had a lot of run-ins with the dentist because of this habit, and it led me to overeating. It led me to eating to the point that it hurt me. When I was married, I had the financial means to buy all the things that I wanted. And so that meant dessert at every meal. That meant cooking, baking, cakes, cupcakes. I was on planes and buying a snack bag before I got on the plane with all of the treats that I wanted. So everywhere I went in the world, I had red vines and lollipops and Sour Patch Kids and you name it. I got to a point a few years ago where enough was enough. I've lost over 40 pounds three times in my life. I found myself the heaviest I've ever been in my life. I was sad. I didn't love my body. I was unhappy. I couldn't get up a flight of stairs. I was not active. I was not fit. I was doing the best that I could and it wasn't a great place. And I remember talking to people and they said, well, you know, as you get older, you're just going to gain a pound that you never lose. And I was seeing all these women who probably felt like me and something in me wasn't okay with that. I had been teaching women how to love themselves, how to be empowered, how to feel good in your own body. And yet I wasn't feeling good in my own body. And I was seeing people comfortable and wanting me to be comfortable there, telling me it's okay. We all are part of the club. Something deep down inside said, no, you need to do something about this. I didn't want to feel like a foreigner in my own skin. Like, who is this woman? And I'm going to be very honest with you. I did not hang mirrors in my house. I did not have mirrors hanging around my house all over the place. I might have had one because I did not want to see me. I did not love me. I did not feel comfortable in my own body. I have lost weight three times. The first time I was on a show called Preachers of LA on the Oxygen Network. And after season one, I was like, baby, I was looking like Michelle Obama. I had hair like to my shoulders and it was like, oh no, this is not how I want to come across. So this season two, I lost like 20 or 30 pounds, got the bundles. 20, I discovered 24 inch bundles, baby, okay? And I had my hair all the way down my back and I was feeling good. I was feeling great. I went into Saks Fifth Avenue off Rodeo. I don't know the street, Wilshire, whatever. And I needed to get something for to film. And I went in the dressing room and the lady said, um, you're about a two, right? And I was like, a size two? No, I, I'm not a size two. She said, you're a two. So she brought me this jumpsuit. It was not stretched like a stretchy material. I put the jumpsuit on and I was like, it zips up. That is when I discovered that I had lost weight. Inside, I was still that thick girl trying to figure it out. When I tried that thing on and that woman looked at me and said, you're a size two and it's not stretch. I was like, wow, it was the best feeling of my life. And I'm not saying that whether you're a 16 or a two, that one is better than the other. I'm not saying that. I'm saying for my own personal growth, my own personal knowing this was home. Second time, I was still using food as my source of friendship. Food was my source of connection. It was my source of love. So after I lost weight, I felt so happy. I think I was lost it for maybe a year. I don't know, two years, three years, maybe. And life was starting to happen. And I never changed my coping habits. So I reverted back to what I knew. Give me the sugar, give me the breads, give me the carbs, not working out, not taking care of myself. And then I got to my heaviest weight that I've ever gotten to. And that was what I was when I delivered my child at nine months pregnant. That's where I got. And I knew at that moment, oh no, oh no, you're back here. 
this was the most unhealthiest emotionally that I was. I don't know if you guys have experienced this. When your body is not the way you want it, it just drains every other aspect of life. How I was showing up for my partner at the time, how I was showing up for my children, how I was showing up for myself suffered because I was not happy in my own body. This time I felt tortured in my own body. I had pictures and I was smiling and it seemed like I was happy. And for the most part, I was happy because I didn't have problems in my life. I just wasn't happy with me. Weight loss, body transformation. I changed my mindset. I attached showing up for myself as a goal. And how I show up for myself, I eat healthy. How I show up for myself, I go for a walk. How I show up for myself is doing the things that honor my body. Weight loss and transforming my body has been one of the most powerful tools to really tapping in to my soul. They're all interconnected. I discovered that as long as food represented connection, I wasn't gonna let it go because I didn't, I wanted connection. As long as those happy feelings came with that Snicker bar, I was gonna eat the Snicker because I needed the happy feelings. Some of us wanna go about changing our weight by just following a list. It's more than that. You gotta work on the mind. For me, 100% mindset change. So I find myself here now in the middle of my third transformation, okay? This one is special because in all the other seasons of my life, I was married. So there was a constant. I was involved in the business, in the ministry a certain way. I was involved with my children a certain way. I was involved in my marriage a certain way. So I had other things in my environment that influenced how I felt and how I got to move. Now, I have no excuse. I'm in control of my life. I have my voice, I have my time. I have my power, my strength. And it was the perfect opportunity for me to shift my body once again. I can honestly say at 40 that I am in the best shape of my life, mind, body, and soul. We got a little bit more work to do, don't worry. I'm gonna show you the end results of this mindset work, okay? And I will definitely keep you in the loop of all things to achieve your best self, mind, body, soul. Changing my thinking, changing how I experience life and food and sweets. I don't eat a lot of them nowadays. I don't eat a lot of carbs nowadays because it doesn't honor me in the ways I wanna be honored. The food is not treating me the way a queen needs to be treated, okay? And so I am doing my work by saying everything in my life that doesn't add value, you must go. Conversation, thoughts, food, not sleeping, you gotta go. When I wake up in the morning, I'm happy. When I go to sleep at night, yeah. I thought, oh my God, what am I gonna do if I can't go out and, and eat this good food? And if I can't cut that cheesecake slice, or if I can't eat the bread with the butter when they serve it to me at the table, then Life won't be fun, life won't be sweet. That is so not true. Do you know what it feels like to be in control of your thoughts? That's power. To choose to eat the bread because I have a choice. That is the power. This power has changed everything in my life. And I can't wait to share more about this. Where are you in your weight loss journey? When you look in the mirror, how do you feel about yourself? Are you in the stage where you're like, I don't like what I see? Or maybe you're in the transition stage where you're like, something must be done. Or maybe you're on the other side where you're saying, I'm loving life, I'm living life. I, I'm in my body and it feels amazing. Tell me in the comments your experience. If you wanna know more about my weight loss journey and what I'm eating every day, or maybe step-by-step, step, let me know in the comments. Maybe we could cook up a little sum for you. At the end of the day, I just want all of us to be at home in our bodies, to love ourselves, to love others, to be doing and living out our purpose, to live free. That's all I want. And whatever I can do to help you along the journey, I'm so happy to. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you get all the videos as soon as they are released. I can't wait to continue this conversation in the comments below.